Hello everybody, my name is Andarius and welcome back to another Magic Arena video. In this video we are going to play the popper mode that is, uh, for me, just popped up here. It's a 60 card constructed deck using only cards printed in Arena as commons. So they have to be printed in Arena as a common card, 250 gold to enter, and I'm going to play the mono white popper today. So, to go over the deck... Um, it is going to be four healers, Hawk, four hunted witness, two moment of triumph, two take heart, two bishop soldier, two cavalry drill master, four day break ch uh, champlet. Uh -huh. This card, okay. Knight's pledge, revitalize. I only have one. Uh, I probably meant to put a second, but this deck is old and I haven't updated it. Uh, it played well last time. Three Luminous Bonds, two Sworn Companions, uh, two Territorial Hammer Skull, two Candlelight Vigil, three Star Crown Stag, uh, two Loxodon Restorer, and 23 Planes. So, and I got custom planes in this deck. In case you're wondering how to do that, you just type in planes, and then you go to the advanced filters, you hit reset, and I don't know why it works, but it does, and you can choose from your favorite artworks. You'll be able to only add one at a time, but then you can just hit the plus signs here to add more. So with that all said, let's go back to our game, which is right here. I totally know what I'm doing, and let's see how far we can get with the Mono White Popper. I'm hoping to get all the way to five wins. That would be very nice. Getting the maximum rewards. Only 250 uh, gold to enter. Commons are very easy to get a hold of, so even though this video is going to get to you late, whenever you see Popper, absolutely grab it. So we have some early game stuff. We have some later game enchantments. Uh, hopefully we keep drawing some creatures. The creatures will make the Candlelight Vigil worth it. Um, there is a Hexproof Popper. That one's really cool. If I knew Popper was coming up, I might have saved some for that. This is a fine play right now. Uh, they won't be able to block, so I will be able to get into three with lifelink. That's about as good as I could ask for, I would think. So we are drawing the lands, which is nice. We got another Healer's Hawk. Uh, we'll be able to play this Healer's Hawk, this Hunted Witness, and we are just outpacing this opponent. They are really going to have to hit me hard when they start playing. Looks like they're playing Azorius. More Azorius guild... Wow! Did they manage to get three out of their four guild gates? And things are really going to start hurting for them now. Uh, as I got a Candlelight Vigil on the Healer's Hawk. I mean, th I think this game's over. They're dead next turn. And I got another Candlelight Vigil, which I probably won't play. Let's see what they do, though. I doubt they can uh, prevent certain death. Okay. They made it so that creature can't do anything. We'll just do it to this. They'll probably concede as soon as they see it. But maybe we can get in the attack. They let us get into attack. What a good opponent. I like opponents who let me uh, resolve the win con. Even though, I mean, they don't need to see the little animation of birds flying at their face at vigilance. Uh, to know that they're dead. But that was a great first game for me. They didn't really get to play cards at all. Those uh, tap lands really screwed them over. Uh, so we have some sort of chef. I like this. It's got some cheapo stuff. Um, giving a creature a little bit of buff. And then I can stop their creatures. Admittedly, I would like a third creature in here. There we go. Wow, that's on the top end though. Six mana. So we got our little healer's hawk. A great start. Next turn, we can Hunted Witness. I'm probably going to keep Take Heart as a combat trick to kill one of their creatures. Potentially their Healer's Hawk. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to attack. They might take the block. Dominating the sky is going to be very important. All right, they go to damage. We'll play out the uh, day Daybreak. I always want to say champion. So let's take the time to say this. Champlain? Cha Chaplain? Chaplain? I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Their hawks got uh, talons now, huh? 
Hmm. What do I want to do? Probably play the Hunted Witness. Ah, uh, I want to... I don't like that card. Yeah, we'll play the Hunted Witness. We'll keep back the Healer's Hawk. They might know what we're up to. But we'll see. They might just swing in thinking that I'm faking some sort of combat trick. They probably don't. Yeah, go ahead. Pass to attacker. Pass to blocker. There's my block. Block the damage. Take heart on this. Do they have a combat trick? No, they don't. They lose theirs and I keep mine. They can recast this. It costs three. Some sort of 2-2 two -two with hexproof. Oh boy, here comes the Hexproof train. Let's see if we can Sorcery Speed revitalize into a land. There we go. We'll play this out. Um, that is a 3-3, so I guess I'll just ping them one in the air. What a pain. They're probably going to buff it with the... Uh, what is that called? Talons of Wildwood. Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Baby Jesus. Alright. We'll take a block. The Hunted Witness can stall out the creature for a while as long as it doesn't get trample. Um. Oh. I can Convoke. I can Convoke, can I? What does that cost? Six? I have four creatures and two. Hmm. Do I want to tap out that much? They do six to me. No, I think I leave a hunted witness up to block. Yeah. This seems like the right thing to do. No attack. So I'll be able to block with hunted witness here. Does this have trample? It does, plus one, plus one, and trample. Oh, that's terrible for me. If they play a land, they'll be able to, uh... They'll be able to return it from the graveyard and play it onto their creature with Hexproof. Oh boy. It's in their hand. Do they have the land? No, they have a Healer's Hawk. So we'll chump it with the uh, Witness. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Um, I mean, I guess I'll play the Sworn Companions. And then do I trade my healer sock for theirs? And no. I would have liked to drop a luminous bonds on their healer hawk. Because I, you know, you know, have these in my hand and I have a feeling they're gonna be playing more hexproof creatures. Hexproof creatures is a great way to get through Popper. It really is. It just destroys your opponent. Alright, so we have a 7-6 with trample. Jesus. Okay, 10, 9, 3, 7, 8, 9. I would have to pump everything I got into their creature. I think maybe I do that and recover off the Luminous Bonds. They attack with the Healer's Hawk. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother blocking the Hawk. Um, that's fine. We can piss at each other like this all day we want. Oh, uh, man. If only I... I don't know what to do. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. I want a Luminous Sponsor creature, but I think I get this out. Hit them for one. Show them that I'm not afraid to pretty much wipe my board for this 10-9. Grow from Ashes. Not sure what that's going to do for them, other than just get them lands. They get two more lands. They can play a three drop if they have it. There they go. And they get the Hexproof. Hexproof 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Maybe I might make another popper video and spend some common wild cards on just some Hexproof people. That really seems like the way to go. Alright, we're getting another land here. We're in a Luminous Bonds, they're... 
I don't know. What do you think? Healer's Hawk? Sure. Sounds good. Let's whittle them down now. So they're going to try and slap on more enchantments onto the Jade Guardian. Or maybe split it up onto the 1-1. Uh, the one -one. But honestly, we need to take out that Jade Guardian the moment it attacks. Um, Knight's Pledge is good. I mean, that'll start killing them faster. We'll put that on our Healer's Hawk. Made it, make it a 3-3. Three -three. Speed up the clock here. We do outnumber them, so once their life gets low enough, I foresee a full swing. Oh, what a pain in the butt. 11, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, they have trample, no block. Ouch. Mega ouch, people. Mega ouch. 3-2 and Vigilance. What do you think? I think that sounds pretty good. Let's put that on this dude. Let's try and spread out. So 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. They had a land. I could have swung in with the Healer's Hawk. Kind of regret not doing it. I think next time I do enchant them getting another crazy aura. Them giving this thing a uh, lifelink would be devastating. So, what do you do? My board is bigger than yours. So, if they block, they would take three, four. Uh, seven. Alright, All right, here we go. We can Luminous Bonds, the Pioneer, drop a Healer's Hawk, and then we'll hit him with this. Get my life toll going up because, you know, I might need it. There they go, making more Hexproof 1-1s one because they're a pain. They are a pain in the butt indeed. I get a land, and I'm going to play out my last one of these. I'm going to hit him for four. I still have 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can kill the Jade Guardian still. They know that. There's my land. There we go. Four more. If I was smart, I would have them down to four life and they would be dead next turn. I think they're dead next turn anyway because I can go wide. They have... Um, great. You don't have life link, right? No. So one, two, three, four. That would be four of my strongest. One, two, three, four, three, six, seven. Yep. They're dead. They're dead on a full swing. Yeah. We'll just we'll let this sink in to them. So all attack. Good game. Good game, opponent. Really good game. That Hexproof had me on my toes the whole game. I thought I had that loss once they started stacking on all the auras. I thought that was it for me. We're doing really good. 2-0. Uh, oh. I think we're already getting value on the games. Um, I didn't check, and I don't want to cancel out. We have Windy as an opponent with a nice little Sarkon uh, player icon there. Uh, two mana, two healers, Hawk. This is great, that's great, that's great. Everything about this hand screams, you get to gain life. Oh, they're on the Healer's Hawk game plan as well, but I can guarantee you that ours is better. That's right, I am guaranteeing it. They probably swing in, we let them swing in, no big deal. That's gonna suck. Okay. If they don't swing in, that's no big deal. I will just put on the Knight's Pledge, make mine a 3-3, three, three, and now they lost value. They could have been at 21 and I could have been at 19, but instead they're at 17, could have been at 18 at this point. So they're going to get on the Axe and they're going to try and match me. That's fine. Next turn, I think I get up my other Healer's Hawk. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I, I kind of like that. 
I kind of really like that, but I think I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to really put the beat down on them, and then I'm going to threaten the trade here because, right, they don't have some sort of first strike? No. So they're going to get five straight to their face, and then I have a healer's hawk to block it with. Bishop soldier. Okay. They might equip the axe onto it after the bird dies. Oh, okay, they have no intention of attacking. I can Luminous Bonds the Bishop Soldier, though. I don't want that lifelink being a problem. Uh, four mana. So we'll do that real quick. There you go. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go really hard. I was going to say, maybe they kill the Drill Master just because Drill Master does more damage, but... Go ahead, take my Healer's Hawk. Healer's Hawk does have the evasion, though, but I do have a Hammer Skull that I can play. Especially if they don't play a creature here, this Hammer Skull is going to be devastating for them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. They're going to have to play two creatures to avoid being tapped out. And I think we've won this game. I, I hate to call it this early, but... There's six life. I have lethal next turn. I can luminous bonds. They they're gonna need like three. <laughs> they're gonna need like three creatures. They're gonna need like three creatures. Oh, I'm so sorry, Windy. You got absolutely decimated. What do you got? Destroy artifact or enchantment. So four five. I have five damage. So I don't have lethal anymore. Scry one to the bot uh to the top. Never mind, not the bottom. I misspoke. If I got another Drill Master, that'd be amazing. I do not. I can play this out. Then I attack with everything. Sure, tap your Bishop Soldier. At one life, and I'm at 33. Can you turn it around? It's not like there's board wipes in Popper. Everything's a common card, after all. We're going to destroy the enchantment and gain four life. They are going to be able to gain four more if they attack. I think I let the damage through. I'm at 33. I don't throw away my creature. What they don't know is that I can Luminous Bonds their creature right the hell back to where it was. No blocks. Thank you, but no thank you. All right. My turn. I can play out both of these because I'm just badass like that. There we go. There we go. Target you because you have lifelink. There we go. And is that game? I didn't count. <laughs> Once again, they're at one life. Windy, I'm so sorry, but damn, you like almost had somewhat of a really good recovery there. Good game. Seriously, good game. Oh, okay, I wasn't, I wasn't going to flex on you with my sworn companions. I was trying to speed it up, but that's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Claim the prize. Three wins. All right, so you get 200 gold at three wins. So I guess four wins is the tipping point. That's when you get your absolute maximum value. You get your 250 gold, which is the entry prize. And one of them will be rare and one of them will be uh, uncommon guaranteed, whereas this two will be uncommons. That's what all of them are. So yeah, four wins is where it's at. Five wins is just, oh yeah, 300 gold. You're making that 50 gold profit. You know that good. You know that's good. So I'm going to play the hell out of Popper. At this point, this might be a Popper week. Maybe I make this a whole Popper week. What do you think? What do you think? kind of like this hand. It's interesting. Candlelight uh, Vigil is going to be pretty cool. There you go, Healer's Hawk. White is extremely powerful in Popper because of the evasion plus the card draw. Alright, we're going to do that and we'll get out our creature. We don't need to revitalize because uh, we're not at threat of dying. And getting out the creature and getting through that summoning sickness is going to be good for me. Ooh, hit me with that rat. Um, I mean, I don't love Moment of Triumph. I'd give that up. So three. We'll attack. 
both of them lifelink. They're tapped out. They go for the block. They revitalize now because I feel like it. That's a great card. I think if they make me discard again, I um, I ditch a Candlelight Vigil because the stag is really awesome. It taps a creature whenever this attacks. Uh, Luminous Bonds is great on this. I don't want to give them a 2-2 zombie. I'm not interested. I'll attack. Missing the land drop is going to hurt, though. I want to hit the fourth land. Luminous Bonds wasn't terrible in replace because I don't want them getting a 2-2 zombie for this dying. Fungal Infection on the bird. They get a 1-1 Sapperling. And we don't find... We don't find the land. They're Golgari. Um, do I make them... Yeah, why not? Let's get a lot of life gain off of this. Really hit them. As soon as I hit my fourth land, things things really kind of kick off. They're getting in the little chip damage. We get another one of these, which is great with the Candlelight Vigil. Um, we don't attack here. Absolutely. We just take the smackdown from the Death Bloom Thalid. Depending on what they play, they're probably going to want to keep the Thalid back. Ouch. Losing the bird. Still nothing. Where is the mana? We're running 23. Maybe 23 is not the amount to be running. Okay. They're feeling comfortable to attack. They have another one. Hammer Skull's pretty good. Pretty good. Gonna kick it back to them. So if they attack with another Thalid... Oh, they do. They really want him to die. No, thank you. I'll take the six. I have the life to spare. What do you have? You have another one. You, you read the Hammer Skull, right? Like, you know that. I'm getting through with the damage. There you go. Tap you. Uh-oh. There's the life gain. I don't know if I want to take nine. I'll be honest with you. I think I block a Thalid with my Bishop Soldier. Bishop Soldier is good, but it's not that good. I mean, oh, they didn't attack. Okay. Okay, and we can leave up. I like this play. So we'll do it like this. Get out the elephant. We'll gain four life. We have a good blocker for their death bloom. Um, we'll be able to drop... What do you think? The stag? 3-2 would make it a 6-6. Six, six. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's let's drop the stag. Let's get the stag out. I can tap two of their creatures when I attack, which I tap that omnivore every single time. We're not going to do attacks yet. I might wait two turns, get both my candlelight vigils out. I'm probably going to play it on the stag and the hammer skull, since they're going to be my most high value targets. I don't care about lifelink at the moment. They're thinking about an attack. They're going to have really great fodder, but they're tapped They're tapped down low. Yeah. 6-5. They have the resources to throw at it. Let's see, I tap two creatures. Tap that, that. One, two, three. I think that's what I do. I think I go aggressive here. Because they're tapped really low. Gets plus two, plus two. Let's do it. I'm going to tap this creature, and we're going to tap one of those. Let's minimize their value here. They're going to be able to go for quite a counterattack. But if they don't kill the stag... It looks like they're going to go for the kill on the stag. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say. Their counterattack's going to be pretty decent. Am I scared of that, though? Can they really do 
Oh, wow. They're going for the kill on a lot of stuff. Uh, that's fine by me. Alright, let's see this go. 2, 1, 0. Yep, a sapperling lives. 2, 1, 3. How about some 2, 2, 2? There we go. They're at 9. They lost a huge board presence, but so did I. You got some sapperlings. Two life they gain for each sapperling. Plus two, plus two. That's eight, ten, eleven. They can do eleven. Gain two life. Ooh. Okay. They're getting greedy. They didn't attack. Six. Candlelight vigil on you. And another daybreak chaplain. Or whatever you call it. Do... Well, I don't attack. Do they win? They straight up just might win, honestly. Alright, how can they buff this? Two, four, six, eight. Five, six, seven. I can't kill it. Yeah, I think I just make this super awkward for them. Uh, I might have thrown away my game. Hmm. Three, four, or do I want a seven, six? Let's go for a 3 4. 7 6 is too excessive. Uh, I wish my creatures weren't so squishy to their tokens. I, I appreciate the Golgari. Yeah, no blocks. Go on. You don't want to sacrifice your board? Oh no, that's bad for you. That's bad for you. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just with these tokens, they have enough to kill both creatures. Oh, I need a healer's hawk. I need a healer's hawk and then I need enchantments, which I've played out onto my creatures for better or for worse. A 3-2. Do I care? They have a trick. I think they're willing to sacrifice a creature to play the trick anyway. Oh. Oh, fungal infections. Okay. Painful. Drill master, you're just a body, whatever. How much do they have if they attack? 11, 12, 13, 14. They can do 14, that's pretty much half my life. I am hurting. That's a big creature. That's a Luminous Bonds creature. Oh man, they've got to be pissed about that. So at this point, I just need to stall out the game. What do I have in here? I have Healer's Hawks, but do I have any other Flyers? I don't think I do. I think my Flyers are my Healer's Hawks, and two of them have gone straight into the garbage. Oh, the Double Worm top deck. If only I had the Double... Um, Oh, you know what? I've played all my Luminous Bonds. I only have three in the deck. I think they might start attacking. Yep, they do. They attack. Okay. So, I think this is how I block.
5, 6, um, 15, 17. Yeah, there's half my life gone. Now, I don't know what's in their hands, or in their hand, but they're going to need more than a fungal infection to get rid of the bishop soldier. Okay, has vigilance, have three blockers. I mean, they have lethal pretty much, so, and I have vigilance. If they have the fungal infection, then so be it. Okay, gain in life. Oh, and they denied my lifelink. That was, that was incredible. That is nice worthy. Nice opponent. That was really good. Because right now, oh gosh. Yeah, I don't think a healer's talk can come in time. 16, 17. I'm at one. I'm at one. This game's lost. Good game. And goodbye. Yeah, they're going to deny the lifelink on that as well. That was brilliant by the opponent. Maybe I misplayed with that attack. Maybe I, maybe patience was what I was needing. Not sure. Oh, we finished the daily reward because we got a bunch of gold from that. Let's see if we make it to four wins. Four wins would be pretty awesome. Five wins would be amazing. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Another mana would have been great rather than this, but we'll see how it goes. Earlier complained about this being six mana. I totally forgot it had Convoke. It just shows my knowledge of the common cards. There we go. We curve out with the two drop. If we get a land, we're really doing good. So with six, I need three lands and three creatures out to play this. That's not bad. That's manageable. That's probably why it's in the deck. So what does our opponent do? What do you do, opponent? Ooh. Mana screwed, are we? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm curving out rather well. And you're just taking all the damage. Next turn, we can play a Loxodon Restorer. Not sure if we do. Pegasus Corsair is a good card. Okay. I think I value attacking. Let's keep up the momentum and play this when I'm on, like, a, a downswing. Because right now they get to tap their bird. They can't block. They probably attack now, though. Ooh, Luminous Bonds. Okay, they might hold it back as a defender. They don't. That's fine by me. Uh, do I bother using Moment of Triumph? Let's see. Three. Could do five to them. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's up the damage and up my life. Nice. Is it nice? I don't know, I threw out a combat trick in favor of more damage and more life. Okay, they get their own Hammer Skull. If I pick up a land, I get a Candlelight Vigil. Uh, okay. Let's go to all attackers. They can't play, uh, they can't kill the Daybreaks. But I can use Take a Heart to kill either one of their things. I think I don't like the Hammer Skull. So we'll kill the Hammer Skull. I gain three life because I have three attacking creatures. They give me a nice. I like this opponent. They're very, uh, their sportsmanship is on point. There's seven though. I think next turn I play this. I don't know. Yeah, they're getting some good value now. Ooh, Luminous Bonds is nasty, though. Okay. I would leave one untapped, or two untapped in a land. I think I play the Restorer. Um, yeah, let's tap like this. 
leave up the 1-1 one, one lifelink. We're not going to attack this turn because they can double block. They might be on an upswing here. They're uh, definitely hitting their mana now. While I am not. Not sure if I want them to keep that. I might Luminous Bonds that as opposed to any of these just because of the lifelink. If they drop any auras, Luminous Bonds becomes a clear target onto something. Where are they up to? Two in the air. Two on the ground. I don't like that. That looks like a combat trick. Because they know I could have killed the knight. Maybe they're looking... I don't know what they're looking for. Okay. Uh, we can drop a candlelight vigil onto something. That'd make my... Elephant is 6-6, six, six, What do you think? We'll go for that. We'll hit him with that all attack. Let's see that combat trick now. Okay, they're going to use that to kill the 1-1. One, one. And those are going to cancel out, and they're going to take 6 damage? You're just going to take 6 damage. I find it hard to believe that you're going to take 6 damage. Okay. Well, Hunted Witness is super dead. I don't know why they didn't just block one of these and kill it. That was a terrible play by the opponent. They're at 4 life. They're looking pretty rough. They offer more attacks, it, they're definitely digging for something. Or maybe they uh, tried to bull, pull the... Uh... Ooh, here we go. That's sucky for me. Yeah. That gets one of these. One of these for sure. Um... And the opponent concedes. Good game. I'll, I'll match that. Well, I can't. The victory sign's in the way. Ah, oh, sweet. Claim prize. Well, we made it to four wins. I got, I'm going to get back my 250 gold, and I'm going to get a rare and an uncommon. Let's see if we can uh, push it to 300 gold. This is it. Win or lose, this popper event will be over after this match. We're against Russian here. Russian. Russian. One lander. Ooh. I think I'm going to take my first mully. I'll keep this. I will bend the plane, so. Hitting the fourth land is pretty aws would be pretty awesome, but I think I need to get things other than lands. Flooding out in a popper game is terrible, and I would like to get some earlier plays. Field Creeper. Okay. Not sure what you're doing with that, but that's alright. I'll hit you for three in the air, lifelink. I'll outdo the damage that that does. I don't want to give Bishop Soldier for a trade. They are playing black. They're playing black, so that means that they might have ways of killing my stuff. Three lands, we're going to get out the Bishop Soldier. And we're going to try to swing at them for three. They might take the... Ooh, there we go. Going down to 14. We're going to be able to get Candlelight Vigil, which is not going on the Healer's Hawk, because the Healer's Hawk is dead. We're going to get Flying, so they're going to fly over my Bishop Soldier. They look like they might be getting some sort of value here. I'll go in for the two, get the two lifelink. I think I Candlelight Vigil the Stag, as long as it lives through their turn, which it appears to have. Okay, keeping back a field creeper. No, they didn't. Well, you know the Sky March is uh, not going to be able to block this. This is going to be 8 damage. This is... <laughs> I mean, it really looks like uh, I'm going to be taking the last game. Or 5 life. Good luck, opponent. Oh, man, good luck. Yeah. Yeah, reading the cards, huh? 
Destroy a tapped creature. Okay. 6-5. The blood letter... Um... Good, good game? Do, do they realize what this card does? Alright, I, I mean... Terrible misplays by the opponent. Maybe they should have read my card. I'm, I'm a little speechless at that. Let's see what the prizes are. Ooh, my uncommon upgraded to a rare, so I get two rares. I get Spell Swindle, which is a really cool card. And I get Fall of Thrawn, which is also a really cool card. I'd love to make the uh, Fall of Thrawn um, fun little, you know, destroy all the lands, exile their graveyard, and then, like, <laughs> mana screw them for the end of the rest of the game. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I have some more popper decks, but... If you see any other decks you'd like to see as future videos, comment it down below. Um, but until then, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'll just see you on the flip side. Bye!